indirect tactics, efficiently applied, are inexhaustible as heaven and earth. Unending is the flow of rivers and streams. Like the sun and moon, they end but to begin anew. Like the four seasons, they pass away to return once more. streams like the sun and moon they end but to begin anew like the four seasons they pass away to return once more bless up good day brothers and sisters welcome to smoke on the water all right we're just here today to uh enjoy some time on the water together and talk about a couple of things uh the weather out here in the chicolton for the last week and change has been uh typical summer weather hot 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 for an example uh what was it yesterday Yesterday afternoon got up to 34 degrees. It was 30 degrees in the shade and um, at 7.30, 8 o'clock last night it was still 30 degrees out. So cooking, drying out. Beautiful day to be on the lake and we've been definitely getting our yak on. <laughs> yak attack in the Chicolton this summer for sure. As many of you well know, our 
dear friends, Dell and Karen, bought a couple of yaks after they had uh, the experience with us and Adele over at Piper Lake. Uh, I happen to uh, have been blessed by my better half as well and got an early wedding anniversary present. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting in it. Big shout out to Cokney Bay though, because uh, they're always righteous folks. Got some footage that'll drop in here. This is Tammy. She's the owner of Coconut Bay. But uh, yeah, we're going to go see that Saskamon Squatch up there because I've been looking for one for the last decade. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen one up here. That's awesome. Who did that for you guys? Um, his name is Dave. Or his name's on the back. Uh -huh. And this is Carl? His name's Carl, Captain Kokanee. Captain Kokanee. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Check out the back. I love the detail. That sack of kokanee. Yeah. And there's the artist. Right on. Like I said, those folks at Kokanee Bay are pretty cool. And speaking of cool, how about Carl and his bag of kokanee? <laughs> All right, so yeah, we went up there last week and uh, we did a uh, little jaunt across Punsey Lake to Pelican Island. And uh, I don't have much footage. I do have some footage uh, clip on the way out there, a clip of the pelicans, and they are ginormous, man. If you don't know how big a pelican is, holy shit. Their heads and beak alone is a couple of feet long. And when they're standing there, they're almost four feet tall. Magnificent creatures. And I've got this, you know, cartoon image of my head of, uh, you know, a pelican sitting on a wharf in San Francisco and lo and behold, I move up into the middle of the Chicolton and BC's interior and there's a little island five kilometers away where fucking pelicans migrate from down there on the west coast up here in the BC. So enjoy that and I'll see you for a doobie break. How's it going, baby? Good. Hey, the fishes are jumping like crazy today here on Punzi Lake. We are almost in the middle of the lake, but we are heading over that way to Pelican Island. We'll see you guys in a bit, but uh, yeah, I try not to drop this device into the water. That would be good. That would be a great idea. Dip, dip, and swing, baby. Dip, dip, and swing. So this doesn't do them justice. They are about three feet tall. And they're probably doing that because of us. So that's where we came from. And as you can see, there is a bit of a system that's rolling in. 
uh, th just over 3K this way. Ready to go back, baby? Yep. Alrighty. See you guys on the other side. So this is actually a test duty. Something that's growing on at uh, You Know Boo's house. And uh, it is an in-house special. And like I said, it's just a test duty. Not going to tell you what it is, but I will share a little something, something about it in this video clip. So enjoy it. I'll see you in a minute. When you wake up one morning and you realize All groggy and misty-eyed That you're flying right through the sky On a falcon named Jebediah When you come to I got some woofers on shore So not too shabby, eh? Like I said, it is going to be uh, Featured on a future Breaking Buds We have a few different cultivars lined up to share with you And uh, we hope that you're enjoying that series as much as we are enjoying making it for you. And I'm telling you, even though this, this isn't cured properly, oh boy. You guys saw the space jewel? Man, that is a keeper plant that's cloned only up here in the jewel colon. I might extrapolate on that in future episodes, but for now, enjoy this video clip and I'll see you in a rip. <laughs> Gotta love those woofers, I tell you. They're slowly making their way back home. They're stopping every now and then to look out at the lake and see where the hell I am. And there was one day I was out here in Bailey. I literally started coming out to where I was, and I was, you know, a couple hundred meters off of shore. But uh, yeah, this is one of the uh, lakes where we've got the uh, the test boys, or not the test boys, but the boys for uh, this is Chili Boo's uh, triathlon swim. We got set up there's uh, one over there at the base of uh, burpee burpee hill so to speak over there and then there's one behind me a couple hundred meters and then she does a triangular path went to piper lake and put one in piper but uh being that uh i didn't have a long enough <laughs> long enough string on it it was blown away and when we were there last time i wasn't able to find it so we have to go reset a, uh, a boy up there as well as my better half has been swimming in town when she gets a chance as well as not too late. So breeze is coming up. I'm gonna be uh, gonna be blown that way, so I'll work on my doobie and I'll catch you guys later. Then I saw a way over in the distance through my water and eyes in the intense mess. A kettle of hawks fight fire with stone at King Jebediah to try to topple the